Hey everybody, my name is Emmanuel. I'm working with uh, Francisco and uh, in this video we'll be explaining how to create a custom table in PostgreSQL, how to use a Dempier uh, to create a new window and link it with the table that we have created in PostgreSQL, as well as entering in data into that new window that we've just created. So to start off, let's go ahead and run a Demp uh, Postgres. So I've got the link right here on my desktop. We'll click here, go into our database, Dempier. I've got a few different ones, but we'll go into the Dempier one that we've created. If you look at my old videos, you'll see that I actually put in all of my tables in here. So it's the schema Dempier and where my tables are at. So once I get in here, I'll just go to the skill query. And I have copied some information from a table anyways, so we'll go ahead and create this table. So the first few lines right here, break them down a little bit. This is These are necessary to create this table. Uh, now what we're doing is that we're creating a table in the schema at Dampier. The table name is going to be C underscore M-O-M. And the first line is going to be our primary key, which is C underscore M-O-M underscore ID. These right here must match C M-O-M and C M-O-M there must match and the rest your ad client is going to be fairly the same now we're going to have the bottom half is where we're going to start to actually modify this so we have things like start date start time and time these are entries into the database so we can create this and just run it okay query return successful no results All right, and then go back here. We can see now if we do this, refresh it, go back into the schema. It's actually created an other table. So we got 724 tables this time. Let's go ahead and find that table. So C underscore M O M. And there it is. Let's go ahead and view it. What we'll see is we created all these different tables. Now there's no information in there right now, but we will go ahead and show you how to get that information in there. Now to get the information into this folder, I'm mean into this database. Let's go ahead and open up our Dempier. So we can go into Dempier here, run a Dempier. Okay, we want to make sure to log in as system username and password system, as well as make sure we roll the role as your system administrator. Over there. All right, so now what we want to do, uh, we'll see the menu on the left hand side of the window right here, and you'll see the application dictionary here. All right. We go to the tables and columns on this side. I want to create a new table and column on the bottom left hand side. And what we want to do now is we want to leave the system as this. Our database table name. Now we're going to connect this to C underscore mom. I mean, sorry, M O M. We're going to make sure we call it that. Uh, organization, leave it as a star. Uh, name itself, we'll just call it uh, minutes of meeting. Detail. I'll just write this in here. To save some time, we'll just copy and paste. All right, is active is fine. Uh, data access level, we'll go ahead and allow everybody to access it. Now you can see we can do client only, client and organization, organization, system only, system and client. So we have a few different options here. We're just going to leave it as all uh, window we can leave blank uh, we'll leave this as user maintain that's fine so we're going to hold click create columns from database again we'll leave this as user maintained through here 
So these are all the columns that have been created. All right, so we're good there. Let's go to column here. As you can see now, again, these are all the columns that were created. We ended up doing there. So let's go back to column tab. Okay. Now we want to go to the Windows and Tab field. Again, go through the same thing. Create a new record. Now under name, we're going to call this name Minutes of Meeting. Minutes of Meeting again. Again, these you want to uh, auto-populate, I mean yourself, for your own uh, need. We're just going to use this example of our Minutes of Meeting. Okay, we're going to maintain that's going to be the same. Uh, this is not going to be a sales transaction. Now, if this was a sales transaction, these are just to keeping uh, records, so this is not going to be a sales transaction. We can leave that all the same. Go ahead and save that. Let's just verify in our access tab that uh, we want to make sure that our system administrator as well as our, our users, other users, all have active read write um, availability. All right, next let's go to the next tab. I want to create a new field here. All right, and in here, let's go ahead and just start auto populating. Now we've got our system client again, our windows, our meeting of minutes, our name, we're going to go ahead and call this MOM for short, our description, MOM basic details. Again, and now this is a, a good point right here. Now this table, we're now going to finally connect this to our table that we've created. So we're going to go ahead and go down and make sure we find C underscore MOM meeting a minutes detail. Okay, we leave the user maintained. Everything else is going to stay the same. Go ahead and click the create fields. Check here. All right, now we can confirm that we have created the fields for the agenda, the chairperson, the client, and all of these information that we have. This is again related to our database that we've created in the first place. So we go ahead and check through there. After that, let's go to the field sequence. And this is going to be the sequence of the way that we actually see and the way that we're actually uh, seeing the data in our table. So we want to be able to move some things around. So let's move our client up to the top, to our organization up to the top. Um, it'd be a good idea to probably put our name next. We can do search key as well. Whether it's active, chairperson, start date, start time, end time, participants, agenda and discussion details. All right, that looks good right there. All right, and uh, we'll continue this in the next video.